Welcome to another edition of the Nightly News. Ted, all we hear about is gun control, gun control. You know, uh, they're going to ram some common sense gun control down our throat. But behind the scenes, I saw a little article, um, not in mainstream media, by the way, but I saw where the IRS, understand what I just said, the IRS has purchased over $700,000 with worth of ammunition since March of 2022. That makes no sense to me. And maybe you can shed some light on that to the Nightly News listeners. Well, you know, you're talking to the right guy, Keith, because I have a lot of friends in the federal law enforcement agencies, and I respect their warrior dedication for law and order, most of them. But unfortunately, the scammers and the the power abusers are now running things. And I got to tell you, when you see that everybody now knows that the IRS is an illegal, immoral bureaucracy why in the hell would a tax agency need military artillery like the bureau of land management and the department of the interior and the u.s forest service remember when they confronted the ranchers out in nevada i believe it was because they overgrazed their grazing rights and Mm -hmm. they went after them with full military commandos in bureaucracies that are supposed to manage you know wild horses which they completely mismanaged. So I could go into more and more details, but the IRS is bad. The IRS is illegal. Lois Lerner used the power of the IRS, unlimited power, to abuse conservative families and conservative uh, uh, charities. Lois Lerner, why is she not in jail? She represents the atrocity of abusive power by the Internal Revenue Service. Damn them all. How's that? Yeah. And for those of our listeners that don't know, Lois Lerner was the head of the IRS. And what she she purposefully did was she didn't approve conservative not for profits while pushing through tons of liberal not for profits. And you know what, Ted? Last point, the IRS buying seven hundred thousand dollars worth of ammo it seems to me that they're trying to do something about gun control without touching the guns. Well, you know, it looks like uh, this uh, treasonous anti-American in the White House, the the bike falling master, um, he is shutting down Lake City's 223-556 ammo production, the most popular ammo by civilians. He doesn't want to make that caliber, the most popular caliber amongst civilians, available to civilians anymore. I just did the 100th anniversary concert of federal ammunition. So I have my priorities straight. And there are, like, there's a new organization, two, the number 2awarehouse.com. The number 2, the letter A, warehouse.com. They are galvanizing ammunition manufacturing for the civilian market, the most important market, because the founding fathers met the British king thugs at Concord Bridge when they came to take our guns. And when somebody comes to take our guns, I would like to follow the lead of our founding fathers and say, King George, eat me. You're not disarming the public because they go from being citizens to subjects, and it ain't going to happen. 2awarehouse.com. So buy ammo, aim small, miss small, compete, plink, hunt, train. It's all, The Second Amendment is perfect. Be sure you keep and bear arms and don't let anybody infringe on it anymore. Wow. If you guys come back tomorrow, I'm going to ask Uncle Ted about reparations and something that uh, Shirley Jackson Lee is proposing down out of your state, down in Texas. Come back tomorrow night. We're going to have some more hard hitting the nightly nooch.